Hello everyone, how are you? Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a good day. Has it been busy? Have you had time to relax? Well, anyway, we're here together, which is fantastic. Welcome to Kenwood Kids Club, a place to inspire future generations of cooks. Now, I know you've been having fun over the last few weeks with Mr. Baker. Last week, you made fruit scones. They look delicious. You've done a pavlova, um, some soda bread, lots of interesting recipes. And today, we are making these, ta-da! Blueberry muffins. But before I tell you about them, let me tell you about me. My name is Angelica Bell. You might have seen me on the television. I present on The One Show, Martin Lewis Money Show, and many years ago, I was a CBBC presenter. I'm also an author. I have a cookbook. It's called this, Fantastic Eats and How to Cook Them. Um, and in it, there are lots of recipes. Basically, because I wanted to, to give confidence to young people, because that's how I learned. I learned with my gran in her kitchen. Um, and I think that all young people should know how to cook um, in its life skill. So one of the recipes, well, the recipe we're gonna do today is this. Very blueberry muffins. And I'll just get the picture, actually. Here it is. There it is, right there. Now, I love this recipe. It's so easy to make. I wanted to do something that was simple um, and delicious. Um, and they are just soft and moist and sweet, and there's a hint of lemon in there too. Um, now, I know what you're thinking. I could just run out and buy these in the shop myself. And that's true, but when you make them yourself, they're fresh and you know exactly what's in them. Now, when I cook in the kitchen and I talk to people about cooking, I give them three words of advice. The first one is always have your ingredients ready like I have here, because I've been known to run around my kitchen like a headless chicken and you don't want to be doing that. So we've got all the ingredients here. I'll just run through them quickly. So you need 195 grams of plain flour, okay? And if you're gluten-free, there's lots of alternatives out there. We've got 175 grams of sour cream, but you could use coconut yogurt as an alternative. 100 grams of granulated sugar. Again, you could use coconut sugar. 100 and 50 grams of blueberries here. Look at them. They look so juicy. And one of the reasons why um, I think blueberries are amazing and one of my favorite fruits is because they're full of vitamin C and apparently they're good at helping you improve your memory and also creativity. So if you've got some math homework to do or some art homework, this is brilliant. <laughs> We've got a lemon, one large egg, I've got 70 grams of unsalted butter. Now it has to be unsalted butter and melted. So what I did was just simply put it in the microwave. I just put it on for 30 seconds at first. You wanna put it on too high because it will explode everywhere and you don't want that. And then if it needs a little bit more, just five seconds here, five seconds there until it's all melted, which is fine. And then in here we've got our raising agents. So I've got one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And finally, we're gonna be putting in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. There we go. So those are all our ingredients. That was tip one. Tip two, make sure your oven is preheated. Um, so this is the perfect time for me to put my oven on. And I'm gonna just, beep beep, just put it on 180 degrees. So it's 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit or gas mark four. Okay, so that's what you need. Fine, and the third tip, is enjoy yourselves. Cooking is fun, and especially when the result is like this. Should we get on? Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna tip this up here. The first thing we need to do is, there you go, lights are on. Pour in your melted butter, like that, and the sugar. Like I said, this is so easy to make. And I love this Kenwood mixer. This mixer is amazing. And when I was little, um, we had a really old one in the house. And we had, it was like white and blue. And my gran and mum used to use it all the time. And I remember thinking, I want one when I get older and I've got one now. But listen, if you haven't got a mixer, do not worry. For many years, I just used a bowl and a wooden spoon. So that's great for now, because you don't need anything else. So I'm just gonna get a spatula out. This is my hedgehog spatula. I love this so much, got it for my birthday. So I'm gonna use this. So we've got the, what have we got in there already? We've got the unsalted butter, sugar. So let's put the sour cream. And remember, if you're using alternatives, just do exactly the same thing. So you put that in there. Get every last bit out. Okay. I like to clear up as I go along as well. 
Um, oh, then we're going to put the lemon in. So we just need the zest of one lemon. So just be careful if you're doing this yourself. You don't want to get your fingers in there too. There we go. And if you're not a fan of lemon, some people just don't like the taste or the smell, don't put it in. Just leave it out. There we go. One thing I say about cooking is that it's all about your own preference of taste. So if you wanted to, you could put some cinnamon in, some nutmeg, whatever you want. This is your dish. So I'm just going to turn this on. Let's put this down. You usually have it on the other side. And just do it on a slow speed until it's all mixed in. And while that's mixing, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of vanilla extract right now. So that's mixing away. Then let's add our egg. Always crack it in a separate bowl. Never crack it straight in there just in case any shell gets in. There she goes. That looks good. Oh, actually, while we're here, let's add the raising agent as well. Remember, we've got one and a half teaspoons of baking, so baking powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking soda, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Now, I'm just gonna turn that off now. Perfect. So, this is where we add our flour, but I want to sift it to make sure the muffins are light and not too dense. So I'm going to just lift this up. Stick this in here. And give it a little sift. I've got a spoon. There we go. Now I make this all the time. And actually, recently, I went to a blueberry farm and did some blueberry picking, which is so much fun. If you've not tried fruit picking yourselves, you should give it a go. So I've got loads of blueberries in the freezer, and you can use frozen blueberries if you want to, but I think fresh are just as good. I prefer fresh, actually. And this, they're just still in season, so easy to get in the supermarkets right now. There we go. That's done. Super. Put that to one side. We're going to push this down again. And turn it on. And once again, keep the speed low. You don't want to overbeat your mixture. And make sure it's all incorporated. Just put those there. Now your batter, it's going to do that like that. Perfect. Now your batter is going to be thick, so do not worry. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Because the worst thing is when you make a recipe, someone else's recipe, and you're like, what's it meant to be like? Or what's it meant to taste like? So this is definitely meant to be thick. I'll take this off. I'll just give it a quick stir. There. So have a look at that. Can you see it? Really thick. It just slowly falls off the spatula. Right, that's perfect. Okay, so this is the next bit. These are your, my blueberries here. And I'm going to whack these in. Now you can add some flour to them to coat them if you're a little bit worried that there's a lot of moisture in your blueberries. Um, and if you are using frozen blueberries as well, make sure you do that. Just coat them in about a tablespoon of, of flour before you put them into the mixture. And I'm, I'm stirring this in gently because I don't want to pop my blueberries. You don't want, don't want them popping just yet. So put that to one side. I'm going to move this as well. Ta -da! And get my muffin tray. Here it is. Now this recipe makes about nine ample size blueberry muffins. But if you've got the smaller cases, you could make 12. So 
so no worries. So we're just going to put nine cases in. There we go. Over there. I'm just going to scoop it in. This is the fun part. Now, for many years when I was little making cakes, I'd never put the right mixture in each one. I started overthinking it. But I just think if you just use a spoon, anything from your kitchen, or lots of people use ice cream scoops as well, you should get approximately the same amount of mixture in each cup. So, one heaped there. Two. Three. During the last few months, I've been making these so much. And I think they're a really good gift as well for neighbours. So I've been making them and then handing out to, oh, made a mess. Handing them out to my neighbours and friends and just eating them myself, really. So we've got Nearly done. So hopefully you're cooking along at home with me. But if not, don't worry. You can do this in your own time. And indulge on another day. All right, just a bit more. Don't want to waste any of the mixture. There we go. Made a bit of a mess. Put that in there. So there we have it. Nine blueberry muffins. So once your oven is ready and heated, you're gonna pop these in for 25 minutes. Now every oven is different. So I suggest you check them after 20 minutes. Have a look. Um, see how brown they are. Some people like them browner than others. Um, but 25 minutes usually is how long they take. Just pop them in. Now, if you feel confident, put them in the oven yourself. But if you're not old enough, just make sure an adult's with you, um, they can do it for you. Wear oven gloves and make sure you protect yourself. And fill your cases three quarters of the way full. That's good. And pop them in the center of the oven. Now those are going to rise beautifully in 25 minutes, but obviously you're not going to be here in 25 minutes, so you can't see them, and that's how we've got these. Um, oh, do you, do you know what? One thing you can do, which I have completely forgot to do right now, is to top them with some demerara sugar. <laughs> so you can sprinkle demerara sugar on it, like these ones here. But you can also um, sprinkle coloured sugar on the top, and I made these myself. So look, I've got this red one, orange, and blue, and all I did was just get these jars. If you've got some jam jars at home, half fill them, half fill them with some granulated sugar, and then pop like one or two drops of coloured gel into each one. Shake them around, um, and you might have to stir it around, and do whatever colours you want. Then you need to get some foil, place them down flat, and sprinkle the sugar down. They need to stay overnight so that all the moisture comes out of it um, and so that it doesn't clump up. And then once they're dry, then you can put them on these and then you, put, then you can just sprinkle them on the top, demerara sugar. But if you don't want to put sugar on top because there's enough sugar within the muffin case, within the muffins themselves, do not worry. So there we have it. And I think that's that. And the final thing to do is when they come out of the oven, let them sit in their hot muffin cases for 10 minutes just let them just slowly cool down, then put them on a wire rack, let them get down to room temperature, and then you can eat them. Or you can warm them up slightly, which is nice as well. And then once that's done, you can just open one up and have a taste right now. Absolutely delicious. Anyway, thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope you enjoy them, hope you make them. Let me know how you get on. Um, and there'll be more recipes coming up on Kenwood Kids Club soon.